What if the United States and the MLS had promotion and relegation? This is especially topical now because the USL just announced that they are actually going to implement promotion and relegation, so I figured we'd give it a try in Football Manager and see what we found out. As you can see up here, we've got the renamed Major League Soccer with some fake sponsors on it, and it has a lot of the teams that are currently in the MLS. We go down and we have teams from the USL Championship and some teams who are currently in the NASL and a few other leagues. So we've got teams like Sacramento Republic or Phoenix Rising here in the championship. Some of these teams are no longer with us, unfortunately. The Cosmos not really been doing much, but for the sake of this experiment, they are back and are enjoying being ready to play again. And this actually goes all the way down to some pretty low tiers. Literally tons of teams across the entire pyramid that would normally have no chance of being in a game like this. This database is fantastic. I'll leave it linked down below if you want to try it out. Like some of these teams, FC Motown and Manhattan are two that I recognize. They are actually in the League 2, which is a semi-pro slash amateur division right now. So it should be really interesting to see if any of these teams can rise up, or if they're just going to be stuck with the current system we have, because there are plenty of relegation promotion slots now. So let's go a few years into the future and see what happens. So we are one year in, and let's take a look at last season over here. So you can see LA Galaxy, Philadelphia Union, DC United, and Montreal all got relegated, so they'll be sitting down in the next season. And in the North American Championship, you have Austin, Cincinnati, and Nashville, and Phoenix getting promoted. So we'll see how they do, because they may just get destroyed immediately in the MLS, but we'll find out. So we go down, you start to recognize fewer of these names, but teams like El Paso, I'm surprised they didn't start in the championship, because they were originally, they are a championship team right now. Um, so that may have been a database error. I think the same with these are Las Vegas Lights. There may not have been room in the championship. But yeah, so there are some decent teams moving up and down. But what I'm really interested in is, but what I'm really interested in is how different does this league end up looking? Already we're down to one LA team. So we'll see how this goes. I'm going to go a few more years in the future this time and see if anything really crazy happens. So I believe we've now had five seasons play out and things are definitely looking different. See, the Cosmos are back up here. That's three New York teams. Very happy for the Cosmos. They deserve it. They got promoted. They did actually get relegated at one point, so that's unfortunate. But yeah, this team has a ton of history. It's actually sort of sad if you want to look at it. Uh, there's not any super famous names on here, unfortunately. One of the things that the Cosmos are known for, where they were, one of, they were one of the first U.S. teams to just go out and sign super famous players like Pele, and they sort of did a lot of the work of building the sport in this country, and now they're Sort of gone, which sort of sucks, but what can you do? I think San Antonio, yeah, they were originally in championship during this save. I'm trying to look at who else, but unfortunately, there wasn't that much turnover, which isn't that surprising. These teams in the Premier League have such large budgets, and they're so much better than a lot of the teams in the championship that it's not altogether surprising. We can see you sort of see the same few teams up in the top every season. LAFC won the league four out of the five seasons. So, while not altogether surprising, it definitely is interesting. I do want to look down in the championship. We know the Cosmos got promoted last time. They might actually have a chance of staying up. I'm not sure if they have a big budget in the game, but out of the game, they definitely have a massive budget. Look down here, Rochester probably never deserved to be this high. They also have a lot of history, but they are in the MLS Next Pro right now, I think, and they may not even be playing there anymore. Bronx AC may have been our largest riser. They came all the way out. All the way down from the regional leagues which is interesting that a club can do that very impressive some of these team names are very funny the jacksonville jumbo shrimp they actually oh, they didn't do very well they got relegated twice <laughs> during this experiment and they are now down in this regional league um where the uh bronx ac started i want to see out of the people who got relegated in these in this first season how far did each of them go the galaxy went right back up winning the championship immediately that's not super surprising they've got a big budget and a big fan base philadelphia went right back up just the next year dc i feel like i saw them yeah they've sort of been a yo-go club going up and down every year and montreal this one may be interesting yeah so they actually got relegated two straight seasons and they are all the way down here they're our furthest faller from the big leagues that's interesting so i mean this isn't super surprising it is a little bit disappointing that more action didn't happen but it's undoubted that the MLS has the most money out of any of the leagues in the United States, but I think that there is actually more room for teams to go up and down than people think. I think the USL's promotion and relegation plan will work. I'm really excited for it personally. I like promotion and relegation partially because of Football Manager, 
So I'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments. Let me know.